Okay, so this is the Signatrop Trader 4X trading system. My name is Paul Clevitt, and I'm going to take you through it. First of all, the legal stuff. Foreign exchange trading is high risk and not suitable for everyone. You should carefully consider your investment, objectives, level of experience, and risk appetite before making a decision to trade with us. Most importantly, do not invest money you cannot afford to lose. Any trades placed in your accounts are your risk and your responsibility. This software is for educational purposes only and is sold as is without warranty of any kind. So... Um, I normally talk about this part every week about the different things that you need to be able to um, look at when you're looking to trade the Forex markets. I'm going to skip it today because I've got some other stuff to do, um, but I'm going to put this in because it's quite important. Most traders do miss out on format and participation. Now what does that mean is a lot of traders know how to draw lines on charts and how to show where um, the levels are and things like that using Fibonacci ratios and different things like that and Elliott waves but they ignore the participation and you have to have both things for the market to move and today it's been one of those days where nothing's really happened um, so I'm going to take you through um, a trade um, and use the Forex trading system to show you how I set it up and here it is, It's this is um, last week and anybody who reads my blog can see that I documented my thoughts on the GBP chief and him was last week you can see that I drew in this and I could see this head and shoulders thing going on now let me show you what that looks like on the chart okay now the first thing I noticed was we had a lot of resistance going on here see that masses of resistance there um, and we had a little bit of resistance down here but there was a lot of resistance at this sort of levels okay and in fact what we had was here you can see the gold there it turned back against us, it then came up here, and it kind of hung around at this level, and there's all this resistance, it could not break north. So it popped back down here, and it's stuck because there's loads of resistance there as well, and then it broke through the signal line here, and I took my trade there in a short down to this level here, and this level here is what? It's the next level of resistance then you can see there's quite a lot of resistance there and what's happened this today this is Monday so Sunday night and Monday it's just bounced back off that resistance so I closed my trade on Friday night I like to close my profitable trades Friday night if I can um, unless I'm feeling lazy so you can see the head and shoulders formation there's the shoulder there's a the shoulder and here's the head here okay and it's quite a neat tidy one but it's one that's taken about four or five weeks to actually happen remember I'm trading daily time frames so my next trade, you can see the lines there. Um, I can click on the Signal Forex Trader System daily chart. Here we go, and you can see that the it tells me that there's a gap of 151 pips between those two levels, and that's 166.50 dollars on this particular trading account. I've got three or four trading accounts. This is just the one I choose to use for tonight. Um, so to place that trade, I've already got one on, but I'll do it again. You just click on the button and it comes up and says trade order place, entry, da, da, da. okay, and that's done. Now, the reason I'm taking that is firstly, we're below the signal line, so we want to be taking shorts only. Secondly, there's how much resistance there? Three levels of resistance it's got to get through. Sorry, support. Got to get my terminology right. It's got to get through three levels of support. So it's got to come back halfway. This is called squaring up. You can see that this sort of level here. So we're coming to this sort of level here, and then it'll drop down and break through these these risks and then it'll come down and take my trade Whee! and then I'm looking for it to take a bit of a run down to here because in the last three months that's how much history that the signal trader forex trading system looks back it's not stopped in that space okay when this currency pair breaks into that area it there, there's a very low chance of it stopping once it gets to this level it will probably head down it may so it may come up down like this. You may see something like this. You can just see the lines flicker like that. So there's a nice trade sitting in this area because there's nothing there. And most of the big traders will trade into those big. Uh, we call them wide open spaces. Okay, and you can see. Look here. See how that the Swiss franc and sterling are heading towards each other. Now the robot will be looking for a short trade. In fact once we're back the other way around because that what we're saying there is that sterling's getting stronger so it's getting into a long GBP chief and the Swiss franc is getting shorter so there's it's got to come back up here again before 
it can change direction again. Now what we might get is something like this. You see there where it kind of bounced up and down. And so here there wasn't enough strength to keep it going north. So it formed that nice head and shoulders. Um, so uh, then it moved into this downward spiral. So we can look for it to do this. Cross over, maybe do the same thing. The same sort of level, maybe three days going up and then coming down. Remember daily charts. Daily charts, people. I know some, especially um, uh, new traders, you know why um, MetaTrader 4 is, and almost every charting system there is, always defaults for 15 minutes because it's the hardest level to trade. So, of course, the broker wants you to be on that level. Remember, your broker makes more money if you lose. Okay? So, I'm not bitter against brokers. I, I've got a lovely broker, but uh, I do. I do. Um, I'm always very cautious, and you know, there's just little things that go on. Um, like, for instance, the way that demo accounts are very different from real accounts. Okay, Strobot and the Signal Trader Forex trading system has always been run and developed on a real account, a real live date account, and the reason is because it's different. All right, real accounts have spreads and have problems and movements, and in fact, the currency pairs are different. The um, the um, charting software, the Signal Trader Forex trading system chart, this line here, if you run the demo account with the same broker as this live account, is 16 pips difference. Okay, so there's actually a correction to fix it. 16 pips is quite a lot, I think, okay, to be different. Now, I have asked them, and I have said to them, why is it different? Um, but I've not had any response. I just don't think they really know why it's different. So I'm going to just do a quick overview for those of you who are new, because I know a lot of you have never seen this system before, of what you can see on the screen. There looks like a lot. There is a lot. Okay, first of all, I'll take you about chart controls. So select charts. I can choose Euro CAD. Trade 40 currency pairs from one chart. Trade Euro uh, GBP New Zealand. You can just see them all just by flipping. Now what you can see as well is all these... Sub <laughs> all these supports and resistances. So the price here is, for instance, here. You can see there's loads and loads of resistance there, and there's there's a big gap here. Okay, now what does that mean? Well, actually, we're below the signal line, so we're looking for a short. We're looking to go short. The pair is in a really good short. So, what we're looking for is participation. Now, how do we tell we've got participation? Because the two, the New Zealand yen, so the New Zealand is bearish here, and the yen is kind of moving bearish, but they're not moving towards each other, are they? So, it does there's not really indi indication that they're going to go back up at all. However, if you look at that, what are they doing? They're flat. Now, when a t current two currency pairs retain the same distance from each other, okay, they tend to just carry on moving in the same direction they were going. So, for instance, um, you can see a little bit just here. You see this? Where it just flops down a little bit. And look here where it kind of goes flat. Because they say this stay the same strength, so they retain the distance from each other. However, when you want, when you get a move, you get this sort of participation where the New Zealand dollar broke below. There was a cross where the Japanese yen got stronger than the New Zealand dollar. Up until then, it had been the other way around. And that caused this shove downwards. Now, actually, we wouldn't be interested in that tra that trade. In fact, we weren't tr interested in anything till here. And that's where Signal Trader Forex Trading System would have taken the trade because there's a nice big gap. So the robot would have probably taken this one. There's a nice big gap here. There's a cross. So you can see there's a white dot above the candle. That means it's interested in a trade. Now then it came back against us for three days. So we spent three days with our stop sitting up here, waiting around for something to happen. And sometimes that happens. And then we got the big break that we were looking for. That means the system knew three days in advance that we were going to happen, that it was going to move. Okay. Now, sometimes it does come against. Sometimes you do stop out. That happens with every trading system under the sun. Okay. But look at this. Here, here we go. More support and resistance. What happens when you get massive resistance like this, tons and tons of it, is that the currency pair cannot go, they can't carry on up because they just have, there's just too much resistance there. So then you get this big drop down and there's another little trade there. So that would have given you uh, 136 pips there and 60, 69 pips there. So we look to trade into those open spaces and we only trade short below the signal line or long above it. Okay, that's just a little rule. It works very, very well because that signal line is very important. Okay, same sort of story here. Look what we've got here. Again, tons and tons of choppy support and resistance. There's a little bit of a gap here. How much is that worth? 
41 pips not worth taking. It's not enough trade. This one, however, 94 pips. That's worth taking. So, dollar cad. Do I like to short dollar cad there? Okay, it's heading through the, the um, signal line, but it's got miles to go to get there. It's, so, we can leave that for now. That's not worth worrying about. Da, da, da. So just pushing through, you can see a lot of there's a lot of currency pairs changing direction at the moment. In fact, here's another one. Look at this. You can see that there's look at the way it's come up here. It's bounced. It can't get through the resistance, so it's just hanging around here. In fact, it bounced down through this nice big wide open space for support, and now it's heading up again. Dollar chief again. Sounds like GBP chief, doesn't it? Same sort of story. And there's another trade sitting here. So for 63 pips. However, we're not below the signal line. However, we do seem to have broken out a kind of bullish trend, but it's, I've not got the confirmation there that I kind of like. Both of them are kind of hanging around the same sort of area, but there were, maybe, maybe we'll, we'll be a trade there in a few days. Okay, so support and resistance trading, that's, this is quite a long thing, and you could sit here and click on this green button here and flip through all the charts and go, oh yeah, oh, look, there's a big gap. This is actually a great trade that we've had, actually. Aussie Yen short, look, here you go. There's the sell signal, just there. But we didn't take it until we'd be looking for that break there. So what did it do? It came back up. And then what happened? Straight down to target. Didn't stop. Okay, but we take the short because we're not looking for a long at this point because we 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 wouldn't go long because there's too much resistance there. So you can see that the Signal Trader Forex training system gives you a um, a view of the market that you're not kind of you that you can't don't normally get. Plus over here we've got this um currency heat map so that's live that's 15 minutes so you can see um, how strong currencies are against each other now these numbers here are a percentage that show us um, for instance the Aussie dollar is 58 percent so it's about halfway in terms of strength against all the other currencies listed here the US dollar is down at 48 percent but look at the Swiss franc really low not much strength there at 27 percent against all the other currencies now that just means short term we could be seeing a bit of a pullback on the Swiss franc. Okay, so you're starting to see a picture. This is a picture. Basically, what you're looking is a, is a picture of the market. Look at this huge gap. Look at the way it struggled. It really did struggle. There's our trade signal here. Aussie dollar. There's our trade signal. Is it below the boom? Yes. Take a trade. Probably took a trade there. In the middle of congestion. Bananas. You know, who on earth trades in the middle of congestion? And then it goes all the way down to the target. Okay, because remember these targets would have been there before this was actually drawn. So, um... Good. Excellent. So, that's, um... That was my phone making lots of noises. So that's, um... All I wanted to really share tonight. So I really just encourage you to go and study my blog dailyforextrader.me let's get my um, blog up here it is and you can see I've got the posts I've actually got the charts as I was looking at them um, so here we go that's it was on when was it August the 4th now on the 11th that I drew that head and shoulders formation okay um, and then I went up here, and we could see it. We could see it forming the next day. And you see how long it takes for it to happen. It's not a quick thing. Wait, best best trading in the forex is when you wait for the. You can wait for the trade. So I'm going to show you something else if you're not um, experienced with forex trading. So um, this is the robot screen. This this is actually a chart behind here, but you can't see it because it's all set to black. Um, and it tells you what's going on at the moment. We've got no trades on. That's because it's boring, quiet Monday, and nothing's really happened. And the robot's not seen anything. I've got my settings up here. Um, I can clear all my entry orders. I don't think there are any. There are some. Okay, so I'll clear all those off. I can place supports and resistance trades like that, and it'll just go off. And it'll go through 40 currency pairs and look for all the possible support and resistance opportunities. It'll take into account the signal line, so it's looking for participation. Now there is a robot, the robot also trades in a different way, and that is it looks for the participation and then finds the opportunity, which is the other way around. So for instance, if when it seems, so for instance, uh, let's go and have a look at Sterling, what have we got this will do? Right, so let's look at this entry here, it's quite a good one, no that's a terrible entry. 
this is a bad one because there's not there's nothing there with enough space for us to go for. Ah, hang on, what was that? Okay, so here's a little long, a little long. Okay, the robot wouldn't have taken this, but it gives it permission. There's so the robot would see that cross first, then it would go. Is there enough gap between here and there for me to take a trade? And it would look and go, no, there's too much resistance. It's, this this is just going to be choppy. So it probably wouldn't have taken that trade. So it starts off with participation and looks for, looks for um, support and resistance. There's also a web interface, which I'm not going to go into now, but um, that allows you to do your robot settings and things like that. Um, and you can see that... Uh, 95 pips that was. 95, there was a 95 pip long there. Uh, Drop down below the signal line here, and we were into 70 pips there. Probably a little one. 56 pips, just a baby. But there's lots of support and resistance going on. It's really... Yes, and it's sterling dollar, so he's going to struggle to go anywhere. Of, of consequence. Um, New Zealand CAD, again, a little bit, oh, that's that trading opportunity from before, isn't it? You can see we've got, look at it, got it twice. Look at this. First, it had it here, and then he got the sa got a second trade there, in the same pair, just bouncing up and down. New Zealand CAD. You can't see it very much. Oh, you can see they're kind of hanging around each other, aren't they? So we've got the kind of congestion here, we're waiting for a break, but the thing is, it's not going anywhere to break. It's going to have to work jolly hard to get that to go north. And it's going to have to work jolly hard to go south. You know that I had um, a short on GBP Aussie on Friday. And I'll show you why. I entered it. Okay, here, here it is. Look at this GBP Aussie short. Uh, this is Sunday night. Sorry, this one's Sunday night. Pop that over there. Oh, help me. Right, so this was Sunday night. Yeah, this was my GBP Aussie short. So this was Sunday night here. That's that little red candle, and that's Monday. So back on Friday when I took my short, it just broke below there. So I had a tiny little short down to there. It was about 36 pips I ended up with. I if it, I just can't see it breaking out of this range. It's going to take an awful... It'll take a world crisis to break out of this range. Look at how long this support line is. That Each candle's a day. That's months. It's stuck, it can't get below that line. So if it gets down here, 97 pips, would I like that trade? Yes. I'll have that, thanks. Okay, so I put an entry order on. Wait a little bit, it'll turn up on my chart so I don't have to actually do anything. Um, chances of me getting there? Pretty low. Pretty low, but it's it's alright, it's doing the right sort, making the right sort of noises. So, you know, it has tried one, two, three times in the last two weeks to get down there. So that's the thing about this system, you can manually trade it and just let the robot do it. I kind of like manually trading, I kind of like using the tools that are built into it, but I don't actually have to do any um, drawing of lines on charts. I do draw lines on charts for everyone else's, for other people's benefit, to show them what I'm looking at, but actually I don't have to. There is everything I need on these charts automatically calculated, and it's dynamic as well. It's a shame there isn't any movement in the market, because if, if you see... Um, if, if price suddenly rally breaks down below here, you'll see all these go green because support becomes resistance. And um, and they go down there. Da, 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 da. So that's great. So that's it really for tonight. I think it's uh, 20 past. Um, so I want to be at forextrader.com or strobot.co.uk if you want to have a look at the software. Um, dailyforextrader.me is the blog. I should be posting more um, trading ideas and charts tomorrow if the market decides to get any participation. <laughs> it's been quite quiet except for this particular move today. Anyway, have a great uh, evening. If you have any questions, you can email me at paul.clevitt at dailyforextrader.me um, or contact me through the website. Um, so I'm going to stop recording now and then I'll publish this up to YouTube.